please welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first ever lookbook video in this channel. Why am I so excited to actually make this video is because I am in love with the fall winter trend 2020. I feel like this year could be a very very chaotic year but then when it comes to fashion, it's still doing really really great. I especially love this year's fall, 20, fall winter 2020 looks in general but I do not have a chance to wear it in my country because it's a long year year long summer country and I do not have a chance to wear it out because it's really really hot but I do have some ideas on dressing and styling these really amazing looks and I wish to share it with you guys in this channel because I can't share it with anybody else out there so without further ado let's get into the video so for my first look, I am wearing a black tank top as my base and then I am layering it with an arm warmer in black. I just recently got it from Taobao, you guys know how much I love to shop in Taobao. Yeah, the quality is really good. And then I'm pairing it with a pair of um, tweed skirt from Zara and ending this look with a pair of knee-high boots, a uh, velvet knee-high boots. It fits a little bit loose on me but it's fine, I don't really wear knee-high boots that, that often in Malaysia anyways. Lastly, I pair this look with a black leather shoulder bag. I'm obsessed with this bag, it looks so cute on literally every outfit. And next here, I am wearing a cute little white tennis skirt. I'm pairing it with a white shirt. And here I'm picking up a black knitted oversized vest to layer it on top of the white shirt for this kind of preppy Ivy League look I guess that I'm going for here and I know this look has been very very um, trendy this year and it looks really really cute and I'm obsessed again here I'm pairing it with the same leather black color shoulder bag and it looks really really cute this whole look and I decided to tie up in a claw clip bun which is like I'm also really obsessed with this hairstyle like this new trendy hairstyle I guess and yeah this is the whole look and also to elevate the look not to forget to add in some gold jewelry like some necklaces it would definitely make it look more classy <music> So here I'm switching up into another um, outer layer of sweater and this sweater hands down is by far the thickest and the material and quality is so good. I got it from again Taobao and I can't tell how much I love this sweater. Um, it's really thick and I can, <laughs> I can hardly wear it in Malaysia because it's so warm. So yeah, I only leave it to this lookbook. And I am also switching boots. Um, because I really like my ankle boots as well so I think it would go really well with this look and lastly I'm topping this look with my Dior wallet shoulder bag <laughs> I don't really know what bag is this I bought it as a wallet but I can also use it like a shoulder bag and I am also wearing a sunnies <laughs> it's this really cute sunnies that I also got from Taobao and yeah, this whole looks just comes together and it looks even better with the sunnies. Next, I'm switching up my bottoms into this um, really nice trousers from Mango, linen trousers and I really love the colour and it's really soft and it's super high-waisted, it makes my legs look longer um, and I'm switching another top in this um, terracotta shade tank top and I layer it with an orange blazer from Miss Selfridge, also pairing this look with a nice cream leather boots. And also, I am taking my LV vintage shoulder bag to elevate the look, I guess. I really love a nice shoulder bag. And also to touch up this look with a gold layered necklace. So 
So for the next look, whoa, that's some pretty great transition there. <laughs> I'm wearing this turtleneck knitted top from Zara, and I'm pairing it with this um, shirt from somewhere I thrifted before. I think it was OK Go. So I matched this look with a um, cream white shoulder bag and a gold dainty little necklace. And here, I snap into another tennis skirt that I recently just bought. It's so cute and it changed the whole look. So for the next look, I have is this really office girl vibe look. I also recently just got this top and blazer from Taobao. And I know this top is inspired by this really famous YouTuber. I forgot what's her name. I'm very... I love her video a lot too, but I just forgot her name. Um, yeah. So for this next look, it's more of a cleaner, um, sleek vibe compared to the one before and I'm obsessed with this look. where my pants fell from the sky and I got these trousers from Brandy Melville a few years back when I was at Hong Kong and it fits so good until now it's so comfy and the quality is like really good so here I am wearing this really cute tank top and cardigan set from Zara it's really furry and it's so soft, it keeps me warm, I gotta admit that. I'm really sorry for my limited amount of um, footwear uh, because I just don't really wear boots in Malaysia that often. So yeah, um, here I'm pairing it with the same bag and this whole look just looks really chic and here I decided to take off um, my bun because it's hurting my head a little. Besides, it looked more feminine with my hair down. So next, speaking of looking more feminine, I am switching this look with a cute tennis skirt, the same one from before, and now the whole look just looks really cute. And here, I'm just pairing the same tennis skirt with my white tee from Topshop, and I'm going for this um, golf sporty look. Now it's really trending where you tie the cardigan around your shoulder, and you create this really cute sporty but feminine look. And I'm really really into this. And also I'm pairing this look with a Charles and Keith leather box bag. So moving on to my next look, I am layering a really sexy lace tank top um, on this same t-shirt. This is what you can do with a clothes that you bought too sexy and you don't know how to wear them. You can always layer them on so they'll look less obscene. And then I pair it with this really nice fitted, high-waisted, straight-cut jeans in white, as you can see. And layering this um, leather jacket from, I think, Mango? I forgot. Mango Zara. Yeah. And this is some really nice... Um, let's say you want to go for a night out with your sisters or like just a really fun night out look. So for the next look, I'm switching this top into another crop top that I got from my friend and I cropped it way too short. And I'm pairing it with another biker jacket and another vintage LV bag from my mom. And this is just another... Um, really cool look that you can wear out and for the last look I'm just wearing this really cute midi dress set that I chopped it in half um, I think I bought it from Topshop and then I don't really like how it looks on my body and then I just chopped it in half and it looks way better this is just another way of styling a biker jacket to make it look more feminine so we have reached the end of this video and thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye